welcome back i am just trying to figure out my week right now it is sunday and i am very confused <laughs> um there's like a lot of prospects in mind for this coming week but i don't really know what's happening with any of them so everything is kind of up in the air and i have no idea how my week is gonna go but I'm going to just continue drawing and creating some more stickers because I really want to work up to a big shop update in the future when my lanyards come in. Although, I don't really know when my lanyards come in. I think they're delayed again. I hope they come in soon. I want to get started on making some clear stickers because I know Sticker App offers some clear sticker designs and I thought it would be really cool to play around with the idea of like clearness. <laughs> so this is how I start out most of my sticker designs. They're just extremely rough and it's mostly just to convey the idea and like jot down the notes in the moment that I think it up. This one I started at first and I was really having a hard time. I might come back to this, but I think in the end, I'm just gonna leave it alone. Maybe in a few months from now or something, I'll rethink this, but it's a work in progress. The others on the other hand, I think it'll be kind of more fun, mostly because I want to play with the transparency of the water within the designs. So yeah, hopefully they turn out well. So I've just finished the main three designs that I wanted to work on and I think they turned out really well. I'm really liking the more simple line style that I've gone with and I wanted to check if it would look good as clear so I think putting it on a darker background will really let it shine. 
this water part will be a little more translucent with a very light opacity of blue and I think it'll turn out pretty cool once the actual sticker shows up and here's what the other two will look like this one's more of a busier design but I think I like how it's very overgrown and a little bit more opaque this design looks a little funky on the black background but if it's on white paper this color will come through a little more brighter and saturated I think this one's my favorite overall too. done much today and it's kind of been slow which is totally fine I just did a few chores around the house and I watered my plants so everything's kind of nice and cozy except I kind of just got this order in and I'm gonna show it in a second it's huge <laughs> so I think for today I'm gonna be setting up that table and see how that goes here it is <laughs> So this is the surprise package that came in the mail. It's actually two parts and together they make a standing desk. So this company called FlexiSpot contacted me and sent me this standing desk and I'm really excited to set this up, mostly because I know about the importance of having a more ergonomic setup, especially within a studio. So I'm hoping that this will definitely improve the quality of life of my own studio. Ugh. Okay, the only problem I have right now is I'm a little too weak to carry this upstairs myself, so I have to wait for my parents. In the meantime, I got some happy mail. I know this letter is from Connie. This is a friend from Instagram. She makes some really cute stuff, especially related to like planners and all that, so thank you. I taped up the front, but I just wanted to show how cute everything is. And then I got another package I don't really recognize, but I think it's from one of you guys. <laughs> Look at these doggies. Undies. Also, the back is super cute. Oh my goodness. There's so many things. Ah. <laughs> It was so hard to show all of them, but look at that. This is one of my favorite stickers from her. I really like the kind of like shop silhouette. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna be using these guys soon. I'm starting a new planner, so this is perfect. I'm a total sucker for sticker sheets, so these are beautiful. This is very my aesthetic. Constance makes some incredible work, so please go check out her stuff. Thank you so much, Constance. I love your work and I'm such a big fan. Thanks for reaching out. And then on to the next one. This is so cute. I, I might just like take this and hang it up because it's adorable. So this is from Christina. Right off the bat, I'm loving the packaging. I'm always a sucker for like parchment paper, which is kind of why I use it in my own packaging. Oh, whoa. Oh. <laughs> So this is everything that she sent. I love these dogs. There's so much like good humor in them. Oh, 
The stickers on the envelope are also on here. I'm so glad because I really like that underwear. <laughs> she also sent this beautiful print. I love the complimentary colors of orange blue. Like this lovely sticker, it's so colorful. And then this really caught my attention. I really like tiny packages. So in fresh bread. I wonder what's inside. Cute! I'm so bad at holding stickers up to a camera, but these guys are so cute. Thank you so much, Christina, for your package. It's really lovely to receive it. Now I'm like super happy because I have so much stuff to start my new planner now. is way heavier which kind of makes sense because it's the legs of the table which are metal uh, well I guess I'm a lot stronger than I thought I was so I guess it's just time to get started This is everything it comes with and it's a little intimidating mostly because I don't really do a lot of furniture assembly besides IKEA furniture really simple IKEA furniture so Okay, so I had a little bit of a brain fart. I, for some reason, put this in the middle of the table because I'm stupid. So I'm gonna fix that. Now it's fixed. It's in a way better position now. this wood color. It's so cozy. I added on the second table mostly because I didn't want to get rid of both tables and now I have room to print right here. I might have to move it the other way but I'm not too sure just yet and also I've got my shipping cart right here so I think everything's kind of even more convenient than before. This desk is so wide. I think I'm going to take a little bit more time to decorate things tomorrow morning but for now, I kind of like how things are going and 
I am extremely sweaty from setting this up, so I'm just gonna go take a shower and go to sleep. So I've gone ahead and done a little bit more decorating and I thought it would be a good time to do a quick desk tour. I love how it turned out. So what I mean by a little bit more decorating is literally just putting tiny little knickknacks everywhere. I think what I really like about it is that I have it right next to my other plant shelf so it makes it feel more overgrown and kind of more natural. Kind of gone with a similar setup to one that I had when I was working in studio at Titmouse before quarantine started. I had my own standing desk and I would have a very similar setup to this. So over in this corner I have a lot of wooden accents to go with the table. This right here is a box from Daiso. I keep a lot of miscellaneous stuff in here including mints and hand cream and some earphones. On top, I have a little grass standy where I could place my glasses and a little pin from Melon Bread. It's really cute. I really like how the chicken kind of looks like he's home in the forest. I don't know why a chicken is in the forest, but I'll just go with it. This over here is a little mushroom standy I made. It's clay mushrooms with moss on top of a slab of wood. And it's a cute accent on the table. Over to the side here, I've got these planters. This one I made myself. It's a little cute fox. And I would kind of want to try to make more, but I don't really know the proper way of making sculptures. So we'll see. And then I've got my air plant here that's thriving pretty well. He looks really cute in this turtle planter. And behind all that is my wooden whiteboard. I was really inspired by Tiff to actually use my whiteboard for planning weekly stuff instead of just having it on the wall and not using it at all. This really helps mostly because it makes me get my shit together. It's nice to write out things in the planner and then go back and kind of have an overall overview of the week on the whiteboard so that at least I can see what's ahead in the future. And then from the side of that is my two beautiful plants. This one's a lemon button fern. This is one of the first plants I've had and I'm really happy that she's still with me. And then I've got peperomia propagations that I finally planted. And then I got one of my favorite things on the table, which is a wooden coaster. It's by Neko Oi. And it's just really nicely done. It helps keep condensation off the table and it's also just really cute to look at because blends in with the wood kind of more naturally. And then I got my cutting mat here, mostly because I don't really have room for it on the other table. My laptop, a little mini trash can for little bits of trash. He eats it up. I got my laptop hooked up to my second monitor and below that I have my favorite decor. This is a piece of picket fence that I found at Joann's randomly and I love it so much. It makes everything feel more cottage core -y. And within it, I have a lot of fake plants from Daiso and then this watering can also from Daiso that keeps all my favorite pens and my iPad pencil and my stylus. I now have space to keep my journal here and I've got more plants over here. This is my string of turtles that I really love. And I've got my desk organizer here. I keep a lot more pens here and my hard drives. This is how my hard drives make me feel. <laughs> so I kept the sticker on it. And yeah, some more cutting materials. And I decided to switch up where the Cameo is with the cutter so that I have more easy access to cutting things. And then that'll be right next to my shipping cart. And then on the other side of this desk is kind of more of the same setup from last time. And it's just overrun with plants and then Cameo. And yeah, that is everything to the desk tour. I think I just have to do a little bit more cleaning up the wires underneath, but besides that, everything else is set. I just wanted to thank FlexiSpot again for sending over this desk. This has been such a life changer already, mostly because the one table that I was working on before was literally just like a slab of plastic with metal tubes under it. <laughs> And it was way too short for me because I'm 5'11". So now with the standing desk, I can stand, I can sit at a comfortable height and just be happy overall with my cottagecore aesthetic.
morning. It's Tuesday. This week is going more unexpected than I thought it would be, but it's like totally fine. I actually started another gig at Tipmouse just the other day, so I'm gonna be on a show for a few weeks and I'm pretty excited. Again, I can't really say what the show is at this moment, but I'm really excited to be doing the backgrounds again. The show style overall looks really cool and the team seems super fun, so I'm excited to meet them. So today I'm going back to my regular nine to five and then I'm gonna be doing my shop stuff afterwards. I think waking up early these days has really put me into a good mood, so I'm ready to get to work. a social life, like figuring out how to put boundaries and like respect yourself. Those are all very important things and most people it takes a lifetime so I figure if I can at least get a little bit of what I've learned you guys can take it and use it in your own way. Mm -hmm. 